Natasha. Debbie. Show. The show. <laughs> Welcome to it. <laughs> Just two patriotic girls. Learning about the world. So please, don't take us the wrong way. Me? <laughs> Hello, Deutschland. No, she was just being mean to me. <laughs> was not. She was making fun of my laugh. Mm. My little stupid laugh that I do that you guys don't hear often. I think they hear it plenty. <gasps> it's... Oh. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, hi, Deutschland. Um, we're really excited about today. It's a special day for two reasons. One being, we're looking at Deutschland. Come on, that's a special day every week. Always beautiful. Always something new and exciting. Love it. And mostly sexy. And tomorrow, if you didn't already know, we are having a very special live here on YouTube episode of the Natasha and Debbie Show. And we really, really hope you'll join us. Um, set your clocks or watches, whatever, maybe. Um, for, in Germany, it'll be uh, 9 p.m., 8 p.m. in the United Kingdom, mm -hmm. um, our live video here on YouTube. And so we're really excited about it because tomorrow is our... It's our three-year anniversary. On YouTube. youtube anniversary. Yeah. So I'm calling it YouTube anniversary. Tube anniversary. Tube anniversary. See, I got to shorten it. Tube anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> so we really hope that you'll be here and um, we'll have some fun um, chatting with everybody. So um, also, if you like our content, please hit the like button. We'd appreciate it. And also consider subscribing. I don't know what happened there. I wish you would have just let it out. I couldn't. <laughs> no, the, the obvious burp you were withholding. No, it wasn't even a burp. Really? I, I guess I was breathing wrong and I just couldn't <laughs> get any voice to come. How have we lasted for three years on no YouTube? Idea. We don't know. So today we're going to take a look at some place in Deutschland and really excited about this. Now, again, my Deutsch is not so great, but I want to thank everybody for last week being so nice and saying that it was pretty mm -hmm. good. Y'all are good liars. <laughs> you were doing good. Yeah, until I wasn't. Um, so this place, I don't know how to pronounce it. I apologize. Sprewald? Sprewald? Mm, probably not. Probably good. Germany's fairy tale river delta. Explore the spree forest by canoe, boat, and bike. Okay. Sounds exciting to me. Yeah. I'm all for nature. Love camping, hiking, all of that. I love watching her do it <laughs> on a video when she comes back. No, I'm kidding. I like it too. Um, but I'm really excited to see this. This sounds beautiful and perfect. And everything we've seen in Germany um, has been exactly that. So. Let's not wait any longer. Let's take a look at this amazing place. Hey guys, it's me again, Hannah Hummel from DW Travel. As you can see, today I'm traveling through one of Germany's most beautiful regions, Spreewald. It's only Near 80 kilometers oh. away from Berlin. Oh, not far from it's Berlin. It's a nature lover's oh paradise with countless small waterways that can be explored by canoe, bicycle, or barge. Climate change is already causing problems here, but fortunately, oh. this kind of travel is environmentally friendly. There you go. The Spreewald is also home to the Sorbs, an ethnic Sorbs. minority with their own language, culture, oh, okay. tradition, and costumes. I'm going to show you a truly gorgeous landscape that combines nature and culture in the most beautiful way. Are you ready? Then yes. Let's go. Perfect. Very ready. Let's do this. You can easily reach the Spreewald by train. It only takes okay. an hour to travel from Berlin to the heart of the Spreewald, Lübenau. Just found out a friend of mine's daughter is going to university in Berlin mm -hmm. um, this year. So I got some place to tell her to check out already. I mean, we're mm -hmm. 59 seconds into the video and I'm like, trust me, I want to go here. Okay, <laughs> this is cool. So just an hour, just an hour by just train. Just an hour by train. Okay. Oh, how are you going to pronounce that but place? Easy. I won't know. It takes an hour to travel from Berlin to the That's heart easy. of the Spreewald, Lübenau. 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 Is she pronouncing it right? I'm thinking she is. I start my trip at the harbor. This is where tours with typical Spreewald boats begin. I'll take a ride in one of them later in my trip. Okay, I want to ride that. Yeah. That was like nice. dinner on that? But first, I want to paddle through Spreewald because those are the kind of videos that I always see from friends. It looks like so much fun and then I can enjoy the peace and quiet by myself. I'd go with her. I'd go with you anybody. You can rent paddle boats in almost every town. A one-seat kayak costs 24 euros a day and a two-seater, 32 euros. 
Can I get a paddle boat for you to you get? <laughs> no. a canoe, <laughs> rowboat? You can go on the board. I'm given some information about the area. Martin Richter shows me a nice route that ends in Leiden, which is said to be one of the most beautiful Leiden. villages in the Spreewald. And then we're off. Was passiert dann, wenn ich mich irgendwie verirre? <laughs> okay, hold on. That's that's that. a sentence in Germany. We're <laughs> in Deutsch that we're going to definitely need to learn. Uh -huh. Hold on. We got to try this one, guys. Was passiert dann, wenn ich mich irgendwie verirre? I can't do that one. And exactly my question. I want to try to listen one more time and see if I can do that. I doubt it. I will try it if I think I can. If I don't think I can do it, I'm not going to destroy it. Was passiert dann, wenn ich mich irgendwie verirre? <laughs> wenn du dich verirrst, ist auf der Rückseite der Karte unsere Notfallnummer. Dann rufst du okay. einfach durch. Aber wir suchen dich erst übermorgen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Weil bisher kam okay. jeder Paddelgast hier wieder an. Okay, gut. So far. Gut zu wissen. Gut zu wissen. Let's see how this goes. She's got this. At oh, first, wow. it's not so easy. <laughs> I'd tip over in 10 imagine. seconds. Oh, see, that's good. Oh. No, no! She, yeah, sorry, I felt, I felt <laughs> for her. That was a close one. <laughs> Wreck, but don't tip. Yeah. But I soon find my rhythm. This is gorgeous. Okay, hello, wow. Holmes. Definitely. This is a rich place, isn't it? Oh, wow. Is it got beaver? Hey, buddy. Oh, I wonder if they ever climb on so and take a ride. here, right? I think this is going to be nice. I think I'm jealous. The Spreewald is Europe's largest Spreewald. lagoon landscape, with 350 canals and waterways. The water comes from the river Spree, and Wald means forest, hence the oh, stop. name Spreewald. Stop Large it. parts of the area are a UNESCO-designated biosphere reserve. Of course. This looks like a much better version of Venice. Sorry, she's obsessed with Venice and wants to go there in Italy, but I'm sorry, Debbie. This would be my, my choice. Maybe. I, I mean, it, it's, it's got the forest, man. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's waterway, a canal way. That one dude was doing like a gondola kind of thing. I know. I, I, I'm going to have to experience all of them <laughs> in all the different places so that I That's can. That's her way of getting the trips to all the places. But still, this is stunning. I. Yes. You gotta stop, Deutschland. You gotta stop. There's too much. There's too much beautiful mm -hmm. stuff in every single thing we look at. Yeah, every time we watch a video, it gets better and better and better. It's I'm like, it's just we have a beautiful incredible. country too, you know. However, <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> this place is amazing. Everything about this. Look at that view. This is mm -hmm. insane. UNESCO designated biosphere reserve. I'm glad it is. She said parts, but not all of it, though. Interesting. There are 500 kilometers worth of canals and waterways here, but nice. I don't think I'll manage all of them today. <laughs> <laughs> Arms might get a little tired. That is so According beautiful. According to experts, the Spreewald was formed during the last ice age when the glaciers melted. But there's also an old local legend that explains this natural wonder. What might that be? Once upon a time, the fields here were being plowed by oxen, when they were disturbed by the devil. So they scattered and ran all over the place, plowing all of the canals into the region here. It's a bit more poetic than melting glaciers, right? I don't like it as much as the melting glaciers. Poetic. Okay, the house is cool. I want to see more of the houses. It slowly gets busier. <gasps> Doggy! <laughs> and I'm approaching my destination. Wow. The village of Leda. Ah, cool. Whoa, what is that? I want to live there. Yes. Sorry. That's amazing. Those. I doubt it, Debbie. The village. You might be able to. I a village. Yeah. Right, now I just have to make it to shore without getting wet. <gasps> How do you do that? I don't know. I've never been in one of those, actually. I'm kind of a wuss. <laughs> That's funny. There you go. <laughs> She's got this. Not as easy as it looks. It doesn't look easy. Okay. Ooh, I made it. <laughs> Here in Leda, there's an open air museum where you can learn a lot about the Sorbs a Slavic ethnic minority who have lived in the Spreewald for centuries. Hi. Hi. I've heard of them. Nice to meet you. I don't know I'm Hannah. Dobry dzień. Witaj szok nam. My se gronis Saskia Bugajowa, a redujom se vietnici przeżyli. 
Wow, okay, I'm going to assume that was Sorbian? <laughs> yeah, that was uh, low Sorbian and um, I'm very thankful that you're here and um, I'm giving you bread and some s salt. Oh, for... thank you. Wow. Do I just... Were... Yes. Do I just dip it? Yes. Oh, I love salt. Is this traditional then? Yes, that's and she likes traditional. Bread. Put them together. Did I'll eat it. Mmm. <laughs> it's good. Nice. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> I've never had bread with salt before. <laughs> Saskia Bugai leads me through the museum village. This Here you can amazing. explore Sorbian houses from earlier centuries. Mm. I love so you can't rent that then if it's a museum. No, I guess not. <laughs> I, I love living museums though, so you can go walk around. So welcome to 1840. Wow, oh, it's wow. really like stepping into a totally different world. Yes, it is, it is. This is the only room in the whole house um, and it's a room for living, sleeping, eating, everything oh, wow. happened here. And you see the bed, it's quite large, but you have to imagine um, upstairs there is a sleeping space for the grandparents, the parents, the children. And downstairs in the children box, the smaller children, and if they had elder children that didn't fit in the bed, they will sleep above in the attic. And how many okay. people would live in a um, room like? Up to 15 people. <gasps> yeah. How many? Wow. So, 15. I mean, that's what I there's thought one said. question that's coming to mind though, because if there were so many children around all the time, yes. but also so many people living here, how were those babies made? <laughs> Don't worry, you have many. She did not just ask that question. It's a good question. Oh my gosh, that's my brain. I mean... I don't know who she is, but I love her. It's pretty legit. <laughs> that was a Natasha moment. It was? Oh my gosh, that is so something I would have said. I did not expect anyone ever in, in the history of any YouTube video we've watched <laughs> to say something I would say that I would normally get yelled mm -hmm. at by someone for saying. That's... Oh, now I gotta hear the answer. I wanna hear Sadie. Here. How were those babies made? <laughs> Don't worry, we have many silent and quiet places around the house and everywhere in the spree world. Mm -hmm. So people were, were had enough time and enough privacy. They find to a place, trust these me. These much babies. Okay. On our way through the museum village, Saskia <laughs> tells me some more stories from earlier times. I love it. She also draws my attention to the carved house gables. This is the Snake King a legendary figure of the Spreewald. We have a fairy tale for children. We tell them if you got uh, the crown of the, ki of the snake king, then you will have a lot of money and jewels and luck in, um, every day. And so the children try to catch the snakes maybe and look after them if they can get the crown. <laughs> Well, I have to say, this is also a very beautiful dress that you have on. It Thank is. Thank you. <laughs> very nice. But would you wear this every day? No, this is for special occasions, like uh, when I'm inv uh, invited to a wedding, then I will wear this as a dress. Um, and uh, this is also very colorful and very expensive because the embroidery is handmade. Mm -hmm. So okay. this oh, wow. is for special events. Yeah, right. And um, my everyday dress will be an, a, lo a lot um, less colorful and hmm. less expensive. That would make sense. Mm -hmm. Saskia is proud to be Sorbian. She inherited the language and traditions from her parents and grandparents and now passes them on to her children. So how do um, the Sorbian people keep their culture alive nowadays? Um, we try to celebrate um, the, uh, our traditional occasions and um, I think a key piece is um, to contain and to live the language mm -hmm. in daycare and in schools. Um, children will also speak Sorbian and will learn it <coughs> and um, yeah we try a lot but it's very hard because uh, only a few people, I think up to 60,000 only, are um, Sorbian or um, see okay. themselves as Sorbian. Wow. Wow. Now another challenge awaits me. Ooh, okay. Step one complete. This is really old school. It is, but it's really neat. In the museum village. I, I love these museums because it shows how. How we should still be living. People used to live and how, um, I think of it, how fortunate we are. Hmm. I think, for me anyway, to live in these times where I have a washing machine and I don't wash clothes like this. Interesting. But. It is nice to remember those ways and people should obviously keep that alive so that people still mm -hmm. know. See, and I disagree completely. 
100%. Really? I think we should go back. Though. Yes, because you and I have watched different things and learned about the Blue Zones. The people that work like this even today, and there's not many places anymore because of the mm -hmm. modern conveniences, live longer, you know, have better, you know, health and things like that. And um, a lot of modern conveniences has taken that ability and we're just more lazy to lay on the couch and you get a little Roomba thing going around cleaning your floors. You're just sitting there with your phone like you do. No, I wish I was brought up in this way, which my grand grandparents were. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. It's just a nice little interesting debate we have there. Yeah, what? Mm -hmm. I'll run it just a little bit. This is really old school. <laughs> However, air conditioning. I won't give that up. <laughs> Modern day heating. Won't give that up either. <laughs> Internet. Okay, so not everything. Okay, <laughs> just some things. Just to make that clear. Moving on. In the museum village later, you can also try to do some things yourself. Okay. Like washing clothes by hand, just like in the old days. And this is when I would find out. Nope, give me the dryer and the washer. Uh -huh. What do you think? Am I doing this right? I think you can put a little bit more elbow grease in that. <clears throat> it's really cool that you can do this at the museum. Mm -hmm. I love these things. Although, there's still quite a few stains on there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll scrub some more. Out by writing. Look at this place. My tour through the Schmeyvad continues by bike. You can rent bikes everywhere for about 10 euros a day. I want a bike. Nice. That is stunning. The Spleweid is famous not only for its beautiful landscape, but also for the delicious Spleweid pickles that can be found everywhere. Pickles! In every right. shape and flavor. Oh, okay, talk to me. The Gewürzburg is the most Honey. The Honiggurke is a bit milder. Die saure Gurke mögen auch viele, ist auch als Salzgurke bekannt. Ähm, oder auch die Meerrettich-Senfgurke. Die ist oh, that ziemlich would be stark, aber auch, schmeckt auch sehr, sehr gut. Die kann that. ich auch empfehlen. Okay, ich glaube, ich würde dann diese krasse Gurke probieren, mm -hmm. gerne. Und auch die Original. Alles klar, die Gewürz, ja. <lacht> Super, danke. I want to speak Deutsch like that, like her. Mm -hmm. Look, they even have a pickle radler, so beer and lemonade, with a cute little picture of a pickle on it. Okay. And Would you try pickle it? schnapps. Can you imagine? Well, we have that at Jungle Gyms or in National oh, Market. Oh, that's right. That's right. Not that market. exact one, but they have a bunch of weird Similar, ones. yeah. I want to know how many people go here um, on holiday, vacation, whatever you call it. Mm -hmm. uh, is it mostly tourists from Deutschland or other countries? Or is it, I don't know. Just let me know because I'd be curious. Okay. And um, I, I know nothing other than what we're watching here. So I find this to be incredibly cool. I want to try pickle. That's a weird thing to say. Imagine. Dank. Cheers. Is that the spicy one or the original one? First time trying the Spreewald pickle. Very good. I can tell she's like, hmm, that's a lot. <laughs> you can see that. And Paddle off morning. we go. The cycle paths are perfect. And one of the routes also has a funny name. Even the cycle path is named after the pickles. Gorken Radweg. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That's so pretty. I cycle into the town of Bork, where I have an appointment Bork. at the Biosphere Reserve. Paul Javik and his colleagues help protect the rivers, <coughs> moors, and forests. The Spreewald is actually a fertile region, but climate change is also making itself felt here. The last summers were far too dry. Wow. Dieses Jahr hat es im Sommer nicht so viel geregnet und ich habe auch gemerkt beim Paddeln, ähm, das ist eigentlich kein Problem, das geht noch. Aber wie ist es als Naturschützer? Wie hast du das erlebt? Die Situation in diesem Sommer war sehr angespannt. Durch die Wasserdefizite, die wir in den letzten Dürrejahren schon hatten, hat sich das Ganze in diesem Jahr verstärkt. Man hat das als normaler Tourist wahrscheinlich nicht so sehr. I did see this was uploaded a year ago, so I don't know if it's from a year ago or I don't know. It just what was uploaded, if that helps anybody. I gemerkt, weil man weiterhin Kanu und Kahn fahren konnte im Spreewald. Ansonsten war es auch so, dass im Spreewald diesen Sommer fließende Wasser trocken gefallen sind. Ein Beispiel dazu ist das Gänsefließ im Unterspreewald, was einen riesigen Erlenwald, ja, einen Erlenauwaldkomplex mit Wasser versorgt. Das ist komplett trocken gefallen. Da konnten wir dann auch sehen, wie Die Biber zum Beispiel innerhalb des Wassers von oben oh, really? reinbauen. Wir konnten aber auch sehen, wie Muscheln trocken waren und wie die Fische dann eben versucht oh, no. haben, durch die Fischpresse, wow. die es in den meisten Wehranlagen hier gibt, Jeez, eben noch zu wassermöglichen yeah. Bereichen hm. zu flüchten. Kann man nur so zuschauen, wie der Spreewald immer trockener wird? 
Oder gibt es auch vielleicht Projekte hier, um den Spreewald zu retten? Wir haben das Glück im Spreewald, dass die Menschen sich hier in dem letzten Jahrhundert Staugürtel geschaffen haben entlang der Spree, um das Wasser schon in der Fläche zu halten und damit Landwirtschaft zu betreiben. Mhm. Also ist die Spree, wenn sie in den Spreewald hineintritt, kaskadenförmig aufgestaut bis zum Ende, was es ermöglicht, das Wasser hier lange zu halten in der Landschaft. Und ist das Tourismus ähm, auch ein Problem ja, ja. hier? Also es gab in den letzten Jahren die Erarbeitung eines Masterplans Kanutourismus, der sich speziell darauf äh, ja, gestürzt hat, ähm, diesen Wassertourismus zu überprüfen, zu überholen. Da wurde ein großes Beschilderungskonzept erstellt, so dass die Leute, die jetzt uns besuchen kommen, auch anhand der Karten, die okay. sie haben, wissen, welche Fließe sie langfahren. An wichtigen, schutzwürdigen, natürlichen Objekten, Organismen, Biotopen und Arten vorbei, aber eben den, ja, I was hoping he would say that the tourism would help to pay to help the you know conservation mm -hmm. and, and things. Um, so, I'm sure it does help to contribute. To I hope so. In some way. Certainly hope so. Und es wird der Landschaft den Leuten zugänglich gemacht hat. Here in Burg, there is also a large harbor, which is a good starting point for a Spreewald tour. And now, since I've seen so many people do it, I'm going to do the typical tourist thing and take a trip in the classic Spreewald barge. I want to do that. See. On weekdays, it's not so busy, but on the weekend, you should definitely book your barge tour in advance. Not surprised. Tino, Hello, my ferryman, knows the business from the ground up. Na ja, also mitgefahren bin ich früher schon immer, nicht als kleines Kind. Vor knapp zehn Jahren den Führerschein gemacht dann und so seit ja knapp ein Jahr bin ich dabei. Yeah, that would be cool. Aber eigentlich dein ganzes Leben. Ja, kann man sagen. Also früher, ich sag mal, meine Oma wohnt ja in Burg, äh, mein, mein Vater auch und dadurch war man halt schon immer hier irgendwie auf die Fliesen auch unterwegs. A true local boy, Tino Meyer also knows about the figures in Spreewald Legends. For example, the Lutzkis. Die Lutzkis sind ganz kleine, ja, ich sag mal ganz kleine Menschen. Und, legends. Ähm, legends. Die cool. beugen sich immer gerne Ooh. von den Anwohner kleine people. Dinge, Small people. Ähm, zum Beispiel Zutaten, wenn sie was brauchen für, zum Essen machen oder Kuchen backen. Äh, aber als Dankeschön ähm, dafür, dass sie sage ich mal geklaut haben, huh. stellen sie dann auch mal ein Stück Kuchen dann vor die Haustür. I want some other cake. I know. Hey. Wow. This place gets better and better every second. Well, I've been wanting to visit Spreewald for so long and it definitely didn't disappoint. The landscape here is really like something out of a fairy tale. Yes, which it makes is. it all the more difficult to see how badly this region mm -hmm. has been affected by climate change. So hopefully it will still survive in the future and you'll get the chance to visit it too. See you next time. Next Sea Deutschland. That was incredible. I'm oh, mad. I'm ready to book flight. Yeah. Go uh I'm at. kayak down the waterway. I want a rowboat. I want to be in the back of the rowboat with the umbrella twirling around, <laughs> all dainty like while Debbie's up front. And I'll be like, oh. Can we just Yeah, fan I'll, you? I'll fan myself. Okay. You know, I can fan myself. This looks ridiculous. <laughs> you twirl it, you have to twirl the umbrella. Twirling and twirling the umbrella. Can you do that? Ooh, yes. I, I don't know. But um, <laughs> uh, it's 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 beautiful. Again, there's nothing we haven't seen um, here that isn't gorgeous, and um, I'm sure there's some place. I don't really believe that actually, but there might be some place that isn't pretty. I don't know. Maybe, um, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really cool to learn about the the Sor Sorbian people. Mm -hmm. um, that was really interesting to learn. I've heard of them. I think. I also might not have. <laughs> I'm so glad that the living village is there. Yeah. To, to help teach, educate further. Yeah. Uh, keep the, the people in the language alive. Yeah, I agree. And there's just so much here like that I had no idea. And I really enjoyed this. If you like this, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. And again, we really hope you'll join us tomorrow, 8 p.m. in the UK um, and 9 p.m. in Germany, Sweden, Norway, mm -hmm. um, for our live here on YouTube um, for our three-year youtube anniversary. Uh, we hope you'll be there. And uh, drop us a comment if you've been here. Um, and uh, and also tell us some other things to do in the area. Because we know no video is going to show everything that there is to do. So please, well let said. us know some other things. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate you. And we'll see you on... Well, see you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Until then, guys, please, as always, love like jazz.
be as strong as Tyson. Bye. Bye.